Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. You know one of the most satisfying part of creating YouTube videos are when you guys ask me questions in the comment section. When you guys ask me doubts in the comment section. And one such question came in my last to last video. Okay, So I had created a video on how to present your project in data science interview. So one person asked me, Aman, I understood all this, but what is the best way to explain the value delivered from the project? Whether it should be in terms of percentages, whether it should be in terms of dollar value or how I can explain the value delivered to the business from a project. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take five different use cases from five different industries. Okay. And I'm going to tell you how you can explain the project value delivered to the business from all these huge cases. The objective of this video is to make you aware of how to think about this, make you aware of how, what kind of talk will be more effective. And in the end of the video, I'm also going to tell you how you can talk about the value delivered through automation. Okay. So just ensure you watch the video till end. So guys here, what you need to focus on is two things. Okay. What you will talk is whatever I have written in this box. You have to talk the business problem and you have to talk the value delivered. Fine. So your explanation of how your project was useful to the business will be inside this box. Talk business problem, talk what value you delivered. Okay. Let's take example from all these industries one by one. For example, retail industry. So what kind of huge cases can be there in retail industry? For example, let us say there are some low selling products. Okay. There are some low selling products for a company. Now you as a data scientist can take the data, can do some analysis, can do some model training and you can you know improve the sales of the product by 20 percent for example okay so what do you say here as a business problem there are some products which are not doing good which are selling very low when we implemented our model the product sales went up by 20 percent which products the lowest selling 10 percent of the products for example so what we are talking here we are talking here a business problem and we are giving some value value to the business. Now, if, if I go one level deeper, the algorithm can be used here. For example, recommendation engines, for example, market basket analysis, for example, some kind of, you know, uh, inventory forecasting, sales forecasting, anything which can improve the sales of low selling product. We are not going too deep into huge cases. We are just talking what is the business problem? What is the value delivered? Okay. Let's try to understand from other example, finance, finance. Let's take a simple uh, huge case, for example, fraud detection. Okay. So what is the business problem? There used to be, uh, you know, lot of fraud transactions in the newly launched credit card. So what you did, you did some data science work and the fraud percentage came down from 4% to let's say 1%, just an example. Okay. So we were able to reduce the fraud transaction by 3% through our model. Now this can convert to dollar value as well. So you can say X dollars, which were going as a fraud was reduced by some percentage. Again, what we are talking one business problem fraud, one value delivered, how much we reduce the fraud percentage in terms of percentage and in terms of dollar value. Okay. What kind of uh, machine learning implementation can go here? You can do a segmentation, you can do a classification model, you can do a isolation forest. Many things can be done to identify fraud. For example, anomaly detection, all these things can be done to identify fraud. But end of it, we will talk about these two things when we talk of value delivered. Okay. When we talk of technical stuff, we will talk about all those modeling and feature engineering, all those things come to other industry energy. Okay. So in energy sector, uh, maybe oil and gas, we can take an example. So whenever they take out oil from the, you know, drilling machine or whenever they take out the oil from the, you know, oil storage, 
there are safety concerns here okay so one example that i thought through is you know we improved the safety rating of the organization by previously it was three star now it became 3.5 star or four star what did you do you just took care of safety safety uh, you know measurements or safety ratings were not good for that organization that is your business problem what did you do you took some data you saw where most of the problems are occurring you did some maybe segmentation maybe some uh, predictive maintenance kind of analysis maybe some early warning system maybe something like this you did and you improved the safety measures of the organization by how much by some percentage for example from three to four you did there was a business problem you delivered a value technology we can talk when it comes to the detailed discussion okay we can tell what all models we fit manufacturing so for example if you take uh, uh, you know take an example of an aircraft for example okay so an aircraft for an aircraft it is extremely important to know when a particular part will fail or when a particular part will will no longer be you know uh, in a condition to use so you can do a failure prediction here you can do early warning system here you can do uh, maintenance cost reduction here those kind of things you can do and you can attach a number with all these things for example maintenance cost of the aircraft was reduced by 20 percent when our model was implemented what did you do here from technology point of view you took all the data all the purchase data all the maintenance data all the cost data you did some uh, forecasting kind of thing you did some clustering kind of thing you did some optimization kind of thing maybe you fit a uh, regression only to know which variables are you know factoring more to the cost right and then you were able to reduce the cost by some 20 percent this is about this industry i'm trying to give you a you know i'm trying to give you a process to think it is not exactly same use cases that will be applicable to you right just a way in which you should think telecom what kind of use cases you can do think of a common problem in telecom industry for example customer attrition so every time we change from vodafone to airtel airtel to some other sim card provider we are just changing the provider right there is nothing but customer going so what we did we did some kind of uh, churn model where we identify the customer who will leave we did some segmentation we did some kind of classification we did some kind of cltv model cltv is for customer lifetime value model and by doing all these things what we did before our model the churn percentage was 15 percent per quarter after our model the churn percentage was let's say eight percent and that will also convert to the dollar well dollar volume so you know the revenue loss due to that 15 percent was x that was reduced to 0.5x after our model was implemented so if you pay attention guys what i'm doing is in all these industry all these huge cases i'm trying to talk business problem value delivered and that is how you explain the last part of your when you explain your project in the interview right one bonus tip i want to give you all these are data science models all these are machine learning models many a times we do some automation and we reduce the effort okay for example if you know how to write a good python code you can just do you you can just reduce some manual effort okay maybe few reports are there which is getting validated by in person okay so can you write a simple python automation script which will validate the reports and you know human intervention is not needed in that case also you can convert it to the dollar value and you can also convert it to the percentage reduction for example 15 people were needed to validate a report in a week okay after my script only five people were needed to validate the same report in a week's time so the manual effort was reduced by one third okay so what we spoke we spoke a business problem value delivered any work you do you just talk these two points okay this video was intended to give you just a just a way of thinking now your huge case your uh, projects may be different from these but when you are explaining to someone right this part especially the senior people right they are very much interested in listening to value delivered okay technical guys like you and me data science people will be interested in knowing more of 
how did you implement what feature engineering what uh, outliers what this thing that thing but senior people business people are interested in this part okay so you must have a very good grip on this part so i hope you understood the funda here guys let me know in comments if you have any doubts i am happy to create one more video for you on the same topic please press the like button if you like this video guys and please press the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get all the notifications i'll see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care